I think the future of triple negative breast cancer is an encouraging one for our patients. We're increasingly recognizing that there are multiple subsets within TNBC. The recent FDA approval of Olaparib and the encouraging data from the randomized phase three trial in BRCA are telling us that it's quite important to know the germline BRCA mutation status for our patients. Um, we already know there's an association between BRCA1 and triple negative breast cancer. And so uh, having that awareness is subsetting out triple negative breast cancers that may respond to a well-tolerated simple oral agent like a PARP inhibitor. I think we are finding there's a particular role for androgen receptor antagonists in a hormonally driven subset of triple negative breast cancer. And so that may be an approach for another uh, fraction of patients with TNBC. So I think there is reason to be hopeful. There's reason to recognize that uh, tumor drivers in TNBC are quite varied, and we'd like to make rational choices in um, treatment decisions based on the underlying biology of the TNBC.